Hi there. So next we will have a session with Studio One and see how to create a template for Native Instrument Machina in Studio One to get going more fast so that you don't lose time and you can go into the creative process immediately. Um, so templates are great to recalling, you know, your Machina with all the audio and MIDI routings that need to be in place in order to fully utilize it in your digital audio workstations. So let's get going with Studio One. Okay, let's look how to work with templates in Studio One. As, as mentioned previous sessions that templates are very handy for you to get going fast and you don't need to worry about mappings and, and routings and things. And uh, quite often you need some drums. This session is about creating a template uh, with uh, native uh, instrument machina and to show how to do that so that you get going fast with your machine and can focus on a creative process. So let's create an empty project and uh, and say that, okay, this is basically it. I have a ready-made template for TR8S. I, I, I've been using that quite a lot lately, but let's go here into Studio One and uh, start creating a template. So first, of course, you need to bring in, uh, bring in the machine and uh, and here I have a ready-made template that um, that I will go and uh, open, so that now I can go and and play play this one. But now I have already done some routings here, so you only hear kick. So now we are in a in a plugin mode where you can then deal with the instruments. But then from here you can define with the input and output, and for each and every pad you can define where it, where the audio goes and from where the MIDI go, comes and goes. But like we just go now and check that the audio routing is run OK. So you click on the pad and then from here you can see that it goes to number two. But if you wouldn't like to change it, you just click on the on the one into which you want to route it. And, and that's pretty much it. It could even be group. But I don't go there, so I just basically show how to do this for individual channels. And what I have done here in this template, I have already done it for each and every pad. So every pad goes to its own stereo channel out from Masina and then to your digital audio workstation. When it comes to inputs, uh, there you need to go into the input and MIDI section. If you want to send MIDI data from Studio One into your into your machine instance uh, for individual uh, uh, pads or tracks in this respect. So you need to go here and say that from host to one, from host to second one, from host to third one. Let's just do this three as an example. And yeah, one thing you need to also do is that it, it can't go through. So you, you eliminate the true from here so that it doesn't go through so it doesn't start circulating so you need to basically disable the go through so that it, it will not mess up your door and and everything else so the the midi just ends here and doesn't go through the the machina okay so that's basically what you need to do in machina and then if you now basically it's still the same thing that you know it works like this but then let's go and close this plugin window and the browser and then now we go into the mixer how studio one works with the multi-channel uh, instruments is that you need to click on here and then you get all the channels this shows it a bit different but it basically says that you know this is the first stereo channel this is the second and this is the third one so you have basically the kick, the snare and hi-hat. And, and then when you have this now done here, you, you basically have the audio coming in into, 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 um, into Studio One. But it's still it's playing the, the, you know, the MIDI from here. If I take, if I turn this uh, off, you basically hear nothing. So in order to to kind of uh, then create like for example a kick, 
pattern you you go here and and create a kick and let's actually just loop this one and um let's okay let's no come on so let's loop this one and now if you would like to send an audio to other channels in machina you need to actually go and create an instrument track for each and every uh, midi channel that you want to send into so here you go and say that this is machina and you need to send it to channel 2 this is machina and this is sending it channel 3 so this one is sending it into into snare and this one is sending it into hi-hat and when you now go and add a uh, add, add your uh, snare you can already hear it so it's correctly mapped from an audio point of view and then if you go into the hi-hat again you can go and then program your hi-hat in one cool thing with this type of a setting is that you can actually use pitch so now when you are playing it, it basically sends them. And, and this is a one benefit of doing the mapping and, and linking machine with your digital audio workstation channel by channel, because then you can use for, for drums, you can actually use pitch. With, uh, specifically with hi-hats, you can play around, but of course you could do it that with snare as well the default in in machine at the c3 is pretty much the default um, default over there one other thing that you can do is that now when you select a track from here it will not select the right channel in the mixer but that you can also change in studio one and that's something that you go over here and and then then basically from here you can say that where does this actually go and and like this goes to machina 2.1 but then this should actually no sorry not this one um oh here uh yeah sorry it was this this section so this one is is linked to channel three and four and this one is linked to channel five and six so now when you click it will also highlight the right channel in the mixer and uh, and then that that's actually handy because when you click on a track it will highlight that also in the mixer correctly so you need to go on on this section in in basically in, um, in inspector and 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 change this accordingly but you do this once because then once you save this as a template you don't need to do it again so so now you can go and then of course you can go and and select and change the color of all of these to red i use drums um, I, basically what i do is i use red as drums and then of course you could also create a uh, a, a a bus for selected channels so it would basically then um, okay you create a bus but then what else you can do let's do an undo for this one um what else you can do you can create a folder uh, let's do that so that's actually more better way to do it so that you go and then you create a folder um, back folder bam and now you have the folder here it's all pinky uh, but let's put it back to red and then of course you could also make this as a uh, track group and and so on and so forth so now now you have have it like um as a folder and then you could say this this is your drums and then now you can from the folder you can add a bus channel to this folder so then now th there is a bus that everything is routed into and then now everything goes through this bus so you, if you want to do bus processing you can put uh, inserts into your bus and, and do bus processing here but then of course you can also select and work with the individual channels and track but that's basically the configuration part and of course you would need to repeat this to all and every uh, pad that you want to bring in uh, all 16 
eventually. And then of course you could name these that this one is a kick and uh, this one is a snare. And now when you have also linked this together, you can see that it also changes the name in the in the mixer. So now you have all those done and, and I think at this point we are happy with the template. So, so now let's store this template. Of course, I'm now a bit lazy and I don't. Con I, I will not map all the 16, but that's pretty much the exercise that we did for, for this three to just continue and keep going. So then you go file and say that basically save as a template. Then you can give the, the name for your template like uh, machina template. You could also have a subtitle or description if you want to be handy with those. But then I think this is uh, this is it for from our point of view. And then we say OK. Now the template is saved. So if I just basically now close this one. And I don't want to save it. And I go and I create a new project. Now I have my machina template here as well. So if I, I take that one and I say OK. Now it will create a new project for me where I have all the mappings and all things already available and I can just start working with my beat and I don't lose any time. So that was Studio One. Next we will dive into Universal Audio Luna. So remember to subscribe for the channel for more great content to come and of course keep me going and motivated with, with you know creating these videos for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye now.